The Return of Jesus The Return of Jesus Part 2 Part 2 of 5 Description, The Prophecies and Portents in Islam of the Descent of Jesus in the Quran and the Prophetic Narrations Christians believe that Jesus is alive today, and many denominations believe him to be active. They also believe that he has been resurrected already, and that he will never die again. The Muslim position, however, is that he never died, and therefore is still alive. It says in the Quran, that the Jews claim. We killed Jesus Christ, the Son of Mary, Messenger of God. However, God denies this, as the verse continues. But they killed him not, nor crucified him, it was only a likeness shown to them, most certainly they killed him not. Rather, God lifted him up to himself. Quran 4 158 I curse them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the Messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions, and laws. Anisa 156-158 This action of lifting is literally an upward movement, physically being taken from the earth into heavens. Just as he will be physically brought back on the wings of angels from the heavens to the earth when he returns. Christians estimate his age to be 31 to 33 years of age at ascension, because the synoptic gospels are considered to describe approximately one year of his life. The Gospel of John purportedly describes three years of his life from the moment he began preaching, of which Luke says. And Jesus himself began to be about thirty years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph. And, he, was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Luke 3 verse 23 and 4 colon 1. Muslim scholars agree. Hassan Basri said, Jesus was thirty-four, while Sayyidi Ibn Musayyib said, he was thirty-three, when he was lifted up to heaven, Ibn Kathir, Stories of the Prophets. The Story of Jesus, Elevation or Crucifixion, p. 541. And there is none of the people of the book but will believe in him before his death, and on the day of judgment, he will be a witness against them. Quran 4 159. There is not one of the people of the scripture except that they will believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, before his death after he descends towards the end of time. On the day of judgment, Jesus, peace be upon him, will bear witness against their actions, whether agreeing with the sacred law or not. Anisa 159 God, here, is talking about the people of the book, believing in Jesus before the latter dies well after he was lifted up into the heavens. The implication is that he is not yet dead. In fact, he is securely kept by God until he completes his appointed term. As God says in the Quran, It is God who takes away the souls at the time of their death, and, the souls, of those that die not during their sleep. He keeps those for which he has ordained death and sends the rest for a term appointed. Quran 39 42 Allah is the one who takes away the souls when their term ends. He also takes the souls whose term has not ended when they sleep. He then withholds those for whom he has decreed death and releases those for whom he has not decreed death until a time that is fixed in his knowledge, may he be glorified. In this taking away, release, giving of death and life there are indications for a people who reflect on the fact that the one who does this is able to resurrect people after their death for reckoning and recompense. Az Zumer, 42. And It is God who takes away the souls at night, and has knowledge of all that you have done by day, and raises you up again that a term appointed be fulfilled, then will you be returned unto him. Then he will inform you of all that you used to do. Quran 6 hours 60 minutes. Allah is the one who temporarily takes away your souls at night as you sleep, and he is the one who knows the actions you do during the day when you are awake. He then raises you in the day, after taking away your souls through sleep, so that you may carry out your tasks. This will continue until the fixed period of your lives, as known to Allah, is over. Then you will return to him alone when he will raise you on the day of rising.
He will then tell you about what you used to do in the life of the world and will repay your actions. Alan M. 60. The term appointed denotes the numbered days of our lives, already known and confirmed by God. The word, to take away, is a promise made by God to Jesus which God will do when his messenger is threatened by disbelief. The Quran informs us that he told Jesus. Indeed I will take you, away, and lift you up to myself and purify you from those who disbelieve. Quran 3:55. Allah also planned against them by saying to Jesus, O Jesus, I will take you away alive, raise your body and soul to me, rid you of the filth of those who disbelieved you and distance you from them. I will make those who follow you part of the true religion, which includes acceptance of Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they will have greater proof and might over those who disbelieve you until the day of resurrection. Then to me alone will be your return on the day of resurrection and I will pass true judgment between you regarding your differences. Ali Imran, 55. Thus we have a promise of God fulfilled when he saved Jesus from crucifixion. And another that will be fulfilled when he returns Jesus to earth and he completes his life here, a promise confirmed in the revelation given to Mary at the Annunciation. God gives you tidings of a word from him, whose name will be Jesus Christ, son of Mary, held in honor in the world and in the hereafter, and one of those who are nearest to God. He shall speak to the people in infancy and when middle-aged, the word used in the Quran is kal, which means middle-aged, elderly. Rather old, Al-Murid al, al Wasit Concise Arabic English Dictionary. According to Mokhtar al-Siha Lexicon, it means above 35 and of gray hair, Shai b, and shall be of the righteous. Quran 3 colon 45-46 Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as, B, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in this word and the afterlife and he will be one of those who are made close to Allah. This child will miraculously speak to people when he is a small baby, as well as when he grows up and becomes a man. He will tell them what is best for them in their religious and worldly affairs. He will also be one of those who are righteous in their words and actions. Ali Imran, 45-46 Since middle-aged is older than the early thirties, this prophecy concerns his speaking to the people after his return. So this second promise, that everyone will believe in him before he dies, concerns his second mission when he descends to earth again. When he arrives, he will be the same age as he left, and then he will live for another forty years, Faslu el makal fi rafi isa hayyen wa nuzawalahi wa katlihi dajal, page 20. The Prophet, may the mercy and blessings of God be upon him, said. There is no prophet between me and him, Jesus, and he shall descend. He will stay in the world for forty years, then he will die and the Muslims will offer the funeral prayer for him. Abu Dawud, Ahmed. The return of Jesus will be close to the end of time. In fact, his descent will be one of the major signs the final hour is due. The Quran discloses that. He, the son of Mary, shall be a known sign of the hour, so have no doubt concerning it and follow me. Quran 43,61. Indeed, Jesus is a sign from the major signs of the hour, when he shall descend towards the end of time. So do not doubt the hour's occurrence and follow me in whatever I have brought to you from Allah. This thing I have brought is the straight path in which there is no deviance. Az Zukraf, 61. His appearance will be followed by only two or three other unmistakable portents. Among these are the appearance of the beast, prophesied in the Quran, 27.82, and when the word is fulfilled against them, the unjust, we shall produce from the earth a beast to, face, them. It will speak to them, the wafting of the believers from the earth. When the punishment becomes binding and established for them, due to their disbelief and sins, and the worst of people remain. I shall take out for them near to the final hour one of its greatest signs which is a creature from the earth which will speak to them with what they understand that the people did not believe my verses which were revealed to my prophet. Al-Namal, 82 The prophet said, At that time God will send a pleasant wind which will waft, people, under their armpits. He will take the life of every Muslim and only the wicked will survive, who commit adultery like asses, and the last hour would come to them. Sahih Muslim, leaving only disbelievers behind. And the rising of the sun from the west. The Prophet said, The first of the immediate signs, 
of the hour, to appear will be the rising of the sun from the west and the appearance of the beast before the people in the forenoon. Whichever of these events happens first, the other will follow immediately. Sahih Muslim The ten major signs, among which is the second coming of Jesus, are summarized in one hadith frowny face the signs in the narration are listed in a different order than they will actually occur. The hour will not come until you see ten signs, the smoke, the false messiah, the beast, the sun rising from the west, the descent of Jesus son of Mary, the Gog and Magog, and three tremors, one in the east, one in the west, and one in Arabia. At the end of which fire will burst forth from the direction of Aden and drive people to the place of their final assembly. Ahmed. May God save us from disbelief and preserve us from being among those who witness the final moments.